Praise the Lord. This is Evangelist Brenda Thompson. I'm coming to you in Jesus' name this evening. The title of my message today is A Prayer of Worship and Victory. My message is taken from 1 Samuel chapter 2. I'm reading verse 1 to 11 and verses 20 and 21. And my reference is Psalm 97. And Hannah prayed and said, My heart rejoiceth in the Lord. Mine horn is exalted in the Lord. My mouth is enlarged over my enemies. Because I rejoice in thy salvation. There is none holy as the Lord, for there is none beside thee. Neither is there any rock like our God. Talk no more so exceeding proudly. Let not arrogancy come out of your mouth. For the Lord is a God of knowledge and by him actions are weighed. The bows of the mighty men are broken. And they that stumbled are girded with strength. They that were full have hired out themselves for bread. And they that were hungry ceased so that the barren had borne seven. And she that has many children is waxed feeble. The Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. The Lord maketh poor and make it rich. He bringeth low and lifteth up. He raiseth up the poor out of the dust and lifteth up the beggar from the downhill to set them among princes and to make them inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's and he had set the world upon them. He will keep the feet of his saints, and the wicked shall be silent in darkness. For by strength shall no man prevail. The adversaries of the Lord shall be broken to pieces. Out of heaven shall he thunder upon them. The Lord shall judge the ends of the earth, and he shall give strength unto his king, and exalt the horn of his anointed. And Elkanah went to Ramah to his house, and the child did minister unto the Lord before Eli the priest. Verse 20 said, And Eli blessed Elkanah and his wife, and said, The Lord gives the seed of this woman for the loan which is lent to the Lord. And they went unto their own home and the Lord visited Hannah so that she conceived and bare three sons and two daughters and the child Samuel grew before the Lord. The name Hannah means grace. We must walk in the prophetic identity of our name and calling. This message is about a prayer of worship and victory. Verse 1 speaks about a battle song. In her battle song, Hannah praises the Lord because she prayed a prayer for deliverance from hatred and strife and confusion, shame and reproach in the house of God. No one pray, never understand what it felt like to have another woman fighting against you as a woman. For your husband and having children with your husband and to add insult to injury, you are in the same church with your husband and his secondary wife called Panina, and you are barren. 
Shepanina is in her maternity outfit and her husband is in the middle of these two wives and Hannah is ashamed. I imagine the members of the congregation cannot get enough of this story and the gossip that goes along with the story. But the Bible said that the priest Eli was in the place where the unusual situation was taking place and saw Hannah's mouth moving but could not hear her words. Based on his misguided thoughts, she told him of her prayer, and Eli came into agreement with Hannah. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 18 verse 19, if two of you shall agree on earth, as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father who is in heaven, these are Jesus' words. Verse 2 in 1 Samuel chapter 2 says she begins to boast in God's strength and security. Hallelujah. There is none holy as the Lord, for there is none beside thee, neither is there any rock like our God. She is boasting in God's strength represents the rock. Verse 3, Hannah addresses her contender, the other woman, without name calling. She said, talk no more so exceeding proudly. Let not arrogancy come out of your mouth, for the Lord is a God of knowledge, and by him actions are weighed. Verse 4, she makes spiritual comparison. She is boasting in her victory. The bars of the mighty men are broken, and they that stumble are girded with strength. In verse 5, Hannah makes comparison with the other woman. She releases her stress in her rejoicing. They that were full have hired out themselves for bread, and they that were hungry ceased, so that the barren had born seven, and she that has many children is waxed feeble. Hannah speaks about her painful and shameful experience, whilst her husband's ego is at its highest peak. She boasts about her prayer for a child and God gave her seven children in God's answer to her prayer. Whilst Penina's children is not even or never mentioned in the word of God, neither in history. Verse 6 to 11 speaks about Hannah's battle song. Hallelujah. In Hannah's battle song, she says, The Lord kill it and make it alive. He bring it down to the grave and bring it up. The Lord make, make it poor and make it rich. He bring it low and lift it up. He raise it up the poor out of the dust and lift it up the beggar from the dunghill to set them among princes and to make them inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's, and he had set the world upon them. He will keep the feet of his saints, and the wicked shall be silent in darkness. For by strength shall no man prevail. The adversaries of the Lord shall be broken to pieces. Out of heaven shall, the, shall he thunder upon them. The Lord shall judge the ends of the earth. And he shall give strength unto his king and exalt the horn of his anointed. And Elkanah went to Ramah to his house. And the child did minister to the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. I bless your name, almighty God.
Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. I magnify your name. Please turn with me to Psalms 90, 97. Hallelujah. The Lord reigneth. Let the earth rejoice. Let a multitude of eyes be glad thereof. Clouds and darkness are round about him. Righteousness and judgment are the habitation of his throne. A fire goeth before him and burneth up his enemies round about. His lightnings enlightened the world the earth saw and trembled. The hills melted like wax at the presence of the Lord. At the presence of the Lord of the whole earth, the heavens declare his righteousness, and all the people see his glory. Confounded the all they that serve graven images that boast themselves of idol, worship him all ye gods. Zion heard and was glad, and the daughters of Judah rejoiced because of thy judgments, O Lord. For thou, Lord, art high above all the earth, thou art exalted up far above all gods. Ye that love the Lord hate evil. He preserveth the souls of his saints. He delivereth them out of the hand of the wicked. Light is sown for the righteous and gladness for the upright in heart. Rejoice in the Lord, ye righteous, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. This evening as I'm coming to a conclusion, hallelujah, right. I would like to pray a prayer for breakthrough, whatever your situation and circumstance, and worship the Lord for answered prayer. You must have a battle song. You must have a battle strategy. Your battle strategy is your battle dance. God bless you as I pray this prayer for your deliverance and your breakthrough. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, as I reach before you this evening, those who need a breakthrough, those who need deliverance, for those who are ashamed this evening, stretch out your right hand, O oh God. And rebuke all those who need to rebuke. And give all those who need a breakthrough, a breakthrough today. Send deliverance. Send victory and send joy and send peace. Those who need fertility, give it to them in Jesus' name. Amen.